Hi everybody, so as you know, today is the 5th of March, which is officially Cyclic Vomiting Awareness Day. So Cyclic Vomiting Syndrome is severe bouts of nausea that can last for days up to months. So yeah, that's basically what it is. And it's also a neurological disorder, which makes different chemicals in your body and stuff like that. So at the moment I'm wearing, I'm not really wearing a lot of blue, but I am wearing blue socks because I don't really have any blue tops and that. So I am wearing blue though. So I'm going to really tell you how all this started. So at, when I was a baby, when I was born, I used to get sick a lot. And I mean, like every day I would be really sick. And they just thought, oh, you know, it's just a baby thing. You know, babies get sick. Of course they do. Um, and some babies can be really sick with colic and that. So they thought it was colic. And so we got uh, anti-colic stuff to stop me from being sick. That didn't work. Then they thought it was the formula. What I was having it wasn't the formula. And then the food and everything. So we try my mum and that's tried to stay up to, to, like, get, obviously, me to stop being sick and that. So we tried everything, my parents did, and then at the age of five and that, I started getting really sick again, and it, to be honest, in the teenage years it got a lot harder, um, but at the age of five, obviously you start having cereals before school and that, and that was a big trigger for me, because I'm lactose intolerant, we did find that out as well, um, but milky stuff, I started throwing up on milk and that, and being really sick on milk, and this would last for days and a few few hours it would last up to a day of being sick and feeling not very well and really grumpy so obviously I wouldn't be able to go into school that day so as from that as you all know I am homeschooled and that is because of my cyclic vomiting syndrome and also a different subject so yeah so that was the start of all of that and then it basically got a lot worse from that um eating food was getting a lot hard uh, basically every meal I had I was bringing it back up and with a lot of pain and with cyclic vomiting syndrome you look like you look like a perfect person you don't look ill or nothing like that you look basically like you've had a few bevies like you've just had a, a bit too much to drink but obviously a child can't have alcohol and like that so yeah so basically people like adults people say like oh they look really bad like and they look like alcoholics but you know in reality we're not we're they're just not very well with cyclic vomiting syndrome and also with kids we look perfectly fine you know it doesn't look anything wrong with us um but you know it, it is it's an invisible illness so we don't you know we look absolutely fine we talk and act like normal people um, but most people with cyclic vomiting syndrome, we can't try and hide it as much as we can because we want to be happy and be like everyone else. But back to the subject of that. So at the age of 13, I was getting really, really sick again. I was getting these really, really intense pains in my stomach. So we got referred to a gastroenterologist and basically they were saying, oh yeah, it's just IBS. Uh, if you don't know what IBS is, it's a basically a common term for an ongoing stomach condition, um, which they don't know. So they just class it as irritable bowel syndrome. Um, and irritable bowel syndrome is basically diarrhea. It can cause pain. It can cause vomiting as well. But not every meal, you know, you don't vomit every meal up with irritable bowel syndrome. And I wasn't experiencing any diarrhea at all with that so we thought you know we'll try some anti stuff like what's it called like ibs stuff to see if that helped and it didn't and so we went back to our gastroenterologist and said hey look we know it's not ibs and we want some more tests so they at the age of 13 what was it 12 I think it was 12 sometime like that um up to my 13th i went, underwent a endoscopy the endoscopy was fine, they, there was no ulcers or anything because they originally thought it was ulcer colitis or Crohn's disease. I don't know if that, like at the top, I don't know. But um, there was nothing wrong with that. There was no bacteria, but it was bad in my stomach. My pH was okay in my stomach as well. So then um, a few days or months along the line, I got appendicitis. Um, so then we thought that was the case of me being sick for all these years 
um, and that just layering up, but it wasn't because after I had my appendix um, removed, I, again, I was very sick. These episodes kept coming and coming and coming. They weren't leaving anytime soon. And then we went back to the gastroenterologist. They just diagnosed me again with, you know, uh, IBS. So then after that, um, I got really sick again. We went to the hospital. I had to get potassium and some other fluids into an IV into my arm. And that was really hard because um, with people with CVS, our veins are very good because we get sticked all the time um, with needles. So yeah, and then I think it was around now about 16. Um, I, I think I was 14 at the time I got diagnosed with cyclic vomiting syndrome. Um, one day my mum basically just had enough. Um, obviously she doesn't want to see her daughter throwing up all the time. It's very hard for a parent to see that. And the parents feel very vulnerable as as well as we do. We feel very vulnerable. Um, but my mum, you know, was just searching up a few things what it might possibly be and we she came across cyclic vomiting syndrome so then we got we got asked for a referral down to the Birmingham Children's Hospital they said it could may possibly be cyclic vomiting syndrome and also something to do with my swallowing reflex so they ordered a barium swallow which is basically you lie under an x-ray and take large consumes of barium you can also have like different flavors in it, so I had to have that. That came back absolutely fine, and they said if that comes back fine, we'll say yeah, you've got cyclic vomiting syndrome. So that's basically how that happened. So that came back absolutely fine, and yeah, it's cyclic vomiting syndrome. They they said that, that is, but then obviously we got back referred back to our normal hospital. They're still not really. Oh yeah, it's just IBS. That's what. They have no idea, basically. I'm not going to say any names of this hospital where I'm at at the moment because it's just, no, I'm not a child. Um, you know, I'm not going to sham bash a hospitals because at the moment the NHS is, is under a lot of pressure and there's not a lot about cyclic vomiting syndrome and not a lot of people don't know about it and you say cyclic vomiting to someone and they go, oh, what's that? And they just, it's like, Oh, oh yeah you're just sick you got a stomach bug no it's not that severe vomiting dehydration and all that so and pain so that's basically how I got diagnosed with psychic vomiting syndrome the consultant said I did have it and that's how I got all my ondansetron and my omeprazoles um, because the ondansetron actually helps a lot well not a lot but it does help with my vomiting episodes so yeah, that's my journey basically of getting diagnosed with cyclic vomiting syndrome. We've also got ongoing conditions which are sometimes actually part of cyclic vomiting syndrome, um, POTS, uh, postural orthostatic syndrome and also gastroparesis we're actually looking at as well um, because when I vomit, which is really disgusting, so if you don't like anything to do with vomiting just skip this bit. bit. Um, all my food comes back up and it's like it's not even been destroyed by my stomach acid it comes up as I've just basically eaten it so that's where we're thinking I've got that and also with the stomach pains and everything like that and pots I can't really stand up without getting very dizzy and my blood starts pulling into my feet when I stand up a lot so yeah that's um, all to do with psychic vomiting syndrome so please wear blue today and support anyone. You can also wear, have a profile frame for someone. It says someone you love who has cyclic vomiting syndrome, wear like a diamond. So you can also have that on a frame. So just put in cyclic vomiting syndrome awareness day on the frame search and it will come up as that. So put that on your profile picture to support someone with cyclic vomiting syndrome. And thank you all so much for your love and support and happy cyclic vomiting syndrome awareness day. Bye guys.